Good morning, Grade Twelves. I trust you had a good weekend. Um, today we're starting with a new section. This section is the fluvial processes. We're going to be looking specifically at the stages of. The river. So if we look at the the life cycle of the river from the start at its source all the way down to the lower course where um, it would end at the mouth where it flows into the ocean or into an inland drainage basin. We can liken these different stages the upper course, the middle course, and the lower course. We can liken these stages to um, um, youth all the way through to old age, hence the pictures. So if we look at the upper course here, the youthful stage, lots of energy bouncing around all over the place. I want you to think of a two-year-old. That's, that's sort of where we are. The middle course, this has characteristics of both the upper course and the lower course. And then finally, in the lower course, the final stage of the river, it's old age. So um, without being rude, let's just liken it to old age. Um, it's slower moving. It's got a bit wider, perhaps a bit wider around the middle. It also um, has a whole lot less energy. So that means that there's more deposition and less erosion in the lower course. To, to look at this, we have to um, imagine the longitudinal profile of the river. Now, the long, longitudinal profile means that we're going to look at the river sideways from its starting point up in the mountains all the way down to wherever it finishes, whether it is in the ocean or an inland drainage basin. Now, this particular one here you'll see is called a graded river. All that that means is that um, from the start all the way down to the finish, it has a smooth profile. Look at this. It's a smooth profile all the way down. Um, this would be theoretical and um, not practical because there always will be lumps and bumps on the way down. But my way of remembering it, my silly way of remembering it, is that it looks like a grader has gone over it. So now it's smooth. So this is the longitudinal profile of a graded river. Smooth from top to bottom. Now the specific characteristics of each of the courses, you need to, um, you need to know these characteristics. So if I ask you to uh, describe the characteristics of the upper course of a, of a river, then these are the ones that you need to know. So these bullet points here are what you know. Um, easiest to remember is, of course, that we liken it again to the youthful stage. So the channel itself, the river channel is V-shaped, and this is because there is vertical only, vertical erosion only, and there's lots of energy. There's lots of erosion that's happening here and very little deposition. Of course, there's not a lot of water in the channel because it's just the start of the river. Steep gradient, and these are the low order streams. If you remember back to our um, our stream orders that we had a look at, so the upper course would be the ones and twos. Then the type of flow, we've got turbulent flow here. So it's bubbly, uneven flow of water, and that's because the, the river channel is uneven. Next up, the middle course. Um, I think this is a teenager lying on the couch here. It's sometimes lazy, sometimes it has lots of energy. So um, the channel here is U-shaped. If you look at this diagram on the side over here, it's not entirely correct. I would prefer that this was a deeper sort of U-shape like that. And the reason it's U-shaped is because now we have vertical and horizontal erosion. There's less energy here, but there's more water now in the river. And this is the middle order stream, sort of your threes, threes and fours. That's what we would be looking at. The lower course characteristics, um, here we're looking at the old age stage of the river. The shape of the channel is now a flat U-shape. This is a good, a good indication here. And that's because there is horizontal erosion only. There's no more vertical erosion. There's a lot, of, lot more water in the channel, a lot less energy. So there's, in fact, um, more deposition than what there is erosion. There are a couple of other features that are characteristic of the lower course, and these are meanders, oxbow lakes, and deltas, that sort of thing. We're going to look at that in another lesson. 
higher order streams, so we're looking at fives and sixes over here, and then important, the type of flow is laminar flow. Laminar flow, it actually looks like a mirror. It's smooth flow, and the water is flowing in layers, and sometimes you've got to look nicely to see that it even is flowing. So those are the um, characteristics of the river from the start right through to the finish. Please, grade 12s, it's probably a good idea to um, summarize these characteristics in your books. Thank you. Bye.